name's Emma bazowski cox I'm one of the curators here at Bendigo Art Gallery and I'm delighted to introduce this exhibition, Field Notes by Ross Taylor. These are really carefully considered and composed images that incorporate motifs and references that range from the sacred to the banal. But perhaps the most arresting aspect of these works is their colour, or more specifically, the colour relationships within them. Ross Taylor uses colour in the most extraordinary ways, in ways we don't expect because they often don't correlate to what occurs in reality. He disrupts our expectations and as a viewer, this piques our curiosity and draws you in. So after Ross Taylor moved to central Victoria, he began to respond to the Black Hill Reserve site, which is just outside of Kyneton, which was virtually destroyed by bushfire in um, 2015, in, in January of that year. And it was through this process and visiting the site every day um, following that bushfire that he began to notice the regeneration of the site. And, and this was when he began to think about colour in, in different ways. And so we were really happy as Bendigo Art Gallery to support a local artist in, in, in this endeavour and to support the production of new work that responds to our region and um, to support local talent in this way. My name's Ross Taylor. I'm a visual artist based in central Victoria. Um, I'm originally from the north of England, um, Northumberland. Um, I studied at the University of Newcastle and did one year study at the Academy der Bildung und Kunst in Munich. And I've been in Australia for 11 years now. The body of work that I've produced for this show is a kind of a uh, a bundle of curiosities um, looking at sort of different facets of central Victoria. Field Notes felt like an appropriate title because the nature of the process of how I assemble the research in the works is kind of an organic, non-linear process that kind of sits in conflict or in it complements um, my experience has grown up in the, in the UK. I feel that the, um, the landscape in central Victoria was the catalyst to make me, dis make me start using colour as a way to describe it. Um, beforehand, I used to make works that were quite monochrome and repetitive and quite tight. But there was something in the landscape and the experience of that landscape which provoke the kind of a th freedom in my practice. So five years ago, um, I witnessed the aftermath of the bushfires that ripped through Black Hill, a national park that just sits outside of Kyneton. Um, I'd never seen a bushfire before and I'd ne never seen the effects, um, the way that it ripped through the landscape and um, completely scorched the vegetation and left nothing behind. Um, I felt sort of compelled to try and capture the sort of moonscape-like uh, aesthetic that had been left. And it was really the starting point for this show. Um, I wanted to be able to show a body of works from 2015 that would show the development of the uh, regrowth at Black Hill and, and how it changed every time I visited. I often try and um, produce a composition that is somewhat disjointed and with the hope that when the viewer sees the work they have a difficult time in viewing it or it's hard work. And again it goes back to that idea of uh, uh, being empathetic to the complexity of experiencing landscape. There's something about being in the, in the real space of landscape and experiencing only 50% of what is actually around us. So our periphery is limited in that respect. And I think that the works are empathetic to that notion. In research in central Victoria's history, it became clear very quickly that there was a strong lineage of creativity found here that was really fascinating to read about. I was initially drawn to but a house in Castlemaine to learn more about the Leveney family, more specifically the Leveney sisters and their contribution to the arts and crafts movement and to the change in women's rights at the time. The drawing inspired by this research titled Never Idle 
is in part a playful nod to affluence, as it is a celebration of creativity within the region in the face of social adversity. Of all of the works, I think that um, Order and Variation, um, which is a kind of a homage to Robert Jacks, that's the work that is, resonates most personally. I was part of the National Gallery of Victoria's team that brought together his retrospective in 2014. I was fortunate enough to visit his studio. The drawing that I've produced is a kind of a stitching together of my memory of that experience with the aid of photographs and sketches. The geometric framing around this work is a tribute to Robert's abstract paintings produced in the 80s. I spent some time with Robert's wife, Julianne, while making this work, and it was a pleasure to learn more about his career and his personality. He's been a really big inspiration for me in my practice, and I hope that he would have enjoyed the tribute. It's been a big project. Um, it's been almost 18 months of work, and um, I'm really proud of it, and I hope that the people of Central Victoria and people from elsewhere see the work and realize that it's a a kind of a playful account of, of Central Victoria's history in a contemporary framework. Um, for me, I've got a few months and then I'll start to um, get ready for a, a residency in Panama to stay with an indigenous tribe in early 2021.